Hello once again, Star Wars and Unboxing fans. Welcome to another episode of Darth Tuba's Star Wars Unboxing Show. I'm your host, Darth Tuba, and today I am thrilled to kind of show the spoils of my shopping excursion in the new way that collecting goes on here in the old uh, 2021, for those watching this in the future. And when I say the new fandangled way, I'm talking about eBay. Yes, everything here you see was a purchase on eBay. Now, we talked a little bit about eBay on this channel. I love eBay. Uh, I think eBay is the great equalizer in a lot of ways. Um, it is the thing that made you able to get anything you want, anything you're interested in, at any given time, anyway, as long as you're willing to pay a certain amount of money. So, now that's mostly true. I mean, obviously, you, have, you know, you can search for stuff that you just can't find, but for when it comes to most items of the people that, that let's say, if it's an item that a small, you know, a niche enough item, a niche enough group of people want, um, that like you can probably find it. Now, if it's something that only one individual would want, I don't really want to use an example, but some so out of the crazy way, out of the way of ordinary, yeah, it's possible that you couldn't find it. But on eBay, I was able to secure four items. Now, what did I find? Well, the uh, when I was looking through, as you, if you walk on, uh, look on previous episodes, you'll notice that I was doing a um, kind of a organizing checklist of action figures to kind of set up for my own personal collection of what I have, what I need, uh, now, generally speaking, anything of the older variety, anything from up through the vintage collection, up to the vintage collection, TVC, I have, if I, ha if I don't have it, I don't have it. I actually sold off a lot of that. I was selling off a lot of doubles. I was selling off a lot of, um, you know, the same exact figure, maybe a slight repaint or a slight repack, uh, but mostly the same figure. I try to just keep one of every sculpt, mainly. But when the, the vintage collection started coming out in 2007, I said, all right, I really want to try to do my very best to get the vintage collection okay the vintage collection are are the figures that i just absolutely you know for those who don't know what i'm talking about i'm just grabbing one that was right on the wall here okay this is going back the gamorian guard vc21 now we're up into the vc 180s now okay so this actually came out in 2011. i say i say 2007 i actually think it was 2010 that's when the dv the the uh, TVC collection started coming out. Obviously, we're talking about the Racing Stripe, the Return of the Jedi symbol, or Empire Strikes Back, or Star Wars symbol, and then it grew to other things like Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, um, Re Revenge of the Sith, and then Clone Wars, and then I don't know if there are any Rebels. There may not be any Rebels ones, but uh, then the new sequel trilogy, Force Awakens, Last Jedi, Rise of Skywalker, Mandalorian, Rogue One, and solo so quite a few um, figures you know found their way into that and i kind of feel that these action figures uh first of all when star wars was doing when hasbro was doing the uh, five poa point of articulation like less expensive figures that wasn't these these were the fully articulated figures so they kind of charged more for this and made it kind of what they were defining, I think, was the definitive action figure. So this is the definitive Gamorrean Guard. So I like that, and I have tried my very best to stay on top of it and continue to collect it. And I have become mostly successful. There's basically only a half a dozen of figures, aside from the newer ones that I've ordered and are still like coming in the mail, I pre-ordered. But beyond those, I've got almost all of them. And I'm very excited about that. I'm very proud of that. Now, of course, it's taking up a lot of room uh, because, you know, when there were 20 of them and then 40 and then 80 and then 100, now we're up to almost 200. But I was noticing when I was making my little organization list that I was missing some. I thought I had them, but apparently I didn't. I went downstairs. I cross-checked with the actual place where I have the figures hanging, and they weren't there. But they were very easy to find on eBay, and they weren't too expensive. Now, granted, you have to pay for shipping. So a lot of places call, offer free shipping, but that's obviously kind of a fallacy in that you're adding the shipping cost to the basic price of the item. Now, there are sometimes exceptions to that rule, and sometimes if the item is small or if it weighs very little, you can get away with uh, cheaper shipping. But the thing is that eBay's kind of worked it out in priority mail 
as priority mail versus first class mail. Priority mail seems to be the way that you can do things online versus first class mail where you literally have to put, you know, lick stamps and put them on the envelope. So it's a little more streamlined, a little easier to do, but it's more expensive. So hence to pass that cost over to the consumer, you're paying the price of the item that you're buying plus the shipping. So now I know there are some exceptions and there are other people that do it different ways, but for the most part, that's what I've found. So I found four items, four vintage collection figures. So why don't we open them up one at a time and we'll see what we got. Uh, I have done buying and selling on eBay and I enjoy buying. I enjoy selling, but I will say that selling has sometimes been a little bit frustrating because um, there just sometimes is not, uh, there's a lot of, other expenses that go into it you know there's a cut that goes to paypal a cut that goes to ebay so it can be a challenge but all right what do we got ah yes we've got vc 169 luke skywalker in stormtrooper outfit so excited to have this one because i didn't realize this is one of my favorite characters in fact i always think of it always harkens back to the power of the force line the first power of the force line where um, I saw a commercial and I saw from a far away distance all, all the figures. A lot of them I didn't recognize, but I recognized Luke Skywalker with his, you know, little Stormtrooper helmet in hand. I said, oh, yes. And they never made a Han Solo. I know that um, some customizers have made a Han Solo version to go along with the vintage line, but I do like this vintage Luke Skywalker. And, I, and I'll get some close ups of it as we go. But there we go. That's VC169 Vintage Collection. All right. Let's try this one. Interesting box packing here. They're making everybody make sure they know that it's fragile. That must be Italian. All right. Somebody put in the comments what movie that's from. You better know. All right. Um, most of the packing is pretty good. Bubble wrap. This other one just used plastic bags. They use like Target plastic bags. Great packing tool. You know, packing item. Packing, you know, that's, that works well too. All right, now we have VC-167, Power Droid. Funny story about the Power Droid, okay? Now, here's the deal with the Power Droid. I actually had this on order with Target, and I, I maybe some of you, if you've had the similar issue, you can leave a, leave a comment about it. I literally had to go on and extend the order. They kept extending it and extending it and extending it and extending it. It's like, your order has been extended and now the arrival date will be April of 2020, then May of 2020, then June of 2020. And it kept going and going and going and going. Now I, you know, figured pandemic being what it is, uh, that's probably, um, you know, what one of the reasons that this happened. But, and they finally just canceled the order. Now I will say this, I hope that it was their full intent to can't to you know deliver on this figure but because that was frustrating because it wasn't just like extending i had to go in and okay it if i didn't okay it with target then they would just cancel the order outright but i kept going in i kept you know, going to go in and log in and do it and then sure enough it got canceled so this one was found uh you know i'm, I'm you know i guess at ebay or found it and sold it now you know it's the power droid i mean what do you want it's a power droid um, I do love that it's a, it harkens back to the star, just like the, this is actually kind of a remake of the actual, you know, there's, there, there is the figures like this that are not, well, this is sort of part of the original because there was a Luke. See, there's a, there's a growing contingency of people that want to have all of the original vintage figures from 1977 through 1985. They would, or 84, you know, 85. They would like to have all of those figures re-released on, you know, modernized figures, okay? And apparently they've done all but like 12, something of that nature. There's, a, there's almost like about a dozen or so, maybe a little more. So Luke was never on a, I don't believe Luke was ever on a Star Wars card. He was on a Power of the Force card, but Power Droid was there. It's like second release, I think. I think it came out in the second wave. And there he is. Um, kind of funny that they have him just sideways. You know, the power droid, it's not gonk. Remember gonk, gonk, the gonk droid. Um, but still, a nice little throwback. I like the purple uh, feel of it. Pretty cool. All right, so there we go. All right, good, good, good on that. VC-167 in the bag. Can update my, I collect my catalog here. 
And then we move on to another one. Oh, my address isn't showing. Please don't mail me stuff. When I'm ready to receive packages, if anybody wants to mail me stuff, I will put together a um, P.O. box or something. But I'm not really doing that right now. All right. Another Luke Skywalker. And this one is not one that was part of the original vintage collection. This is V... Ah, ah. Be careful. People sending out eBay. When you're taping with bubble wrap or scotch tape of any kind, make sure that tape is not anywhere near the figure itself. Only tape on top of itself. I do like these boxes, though. This is a nice action figure box. It's pretty good. We have VC-151. Going back a few, there's Luke Skywalker Yavin. Not a, an original figure release. We never got a Yavin Luke in the original vintage line. But this, pretty cool. Now, um, it comes with his blaster. comes with a lightsaber. Pretty cool stuff. All right. Loved this figure. I loved that in the comic books, you could see farm, you know, like many more adventures of Luke Skywalker dressed in this outfit um, rather than a shorty robe uh, uh, moisture farmer outfit. I thought this was far cooler, looked a little more like Han Solo. Had his little belt, uh, you know, his holster with a little like thigh strap and everything. It just looked really cool. So, um, but 151, VC 151, skipped over it, never got it in the collection. So there it is. Okay, and again, a lot of these figures are re-releases from much earlier ones, things that came out in the, maybe maybe the early 2000s, but um, I, call, I call these the vintage, uh, the definitive. So at some point, I may end up getting rid of all of the other figures that, if I have this one, that might get rid of the other ones just to you know consolidate, but not right now, but sometime in the future. And one more. Okay. Got to be careful sometimes when you're cutting, just to make sure we're not cutting into the card itself. That would really stink because these are not figures that I plan on opening up. A lot of these I might already have open from previous releases. Oop, got a little thing there. There it is. All right. Ooh, ooh, they have like bubbly stuff. Nice. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. hang on. More of a challenge here. Okay, and VC-127. This one was shocking to me. I could not believe that I did not have VC-127. I had, I had gotten all the other ones all around it. This is going back a little ways. This is the Imperial Death Trooper from Rogue One. And as you can see, you know, you got the Rogue One um, logo. This, this logo, by the, you know, it's really funny. Like, you look at these logos, okay? I mean, this is just the Star Wars logo. But... These logos were actually not designed by Lucasfilm. I mean, maybe maybe they had some similarities, but these logos were designed by Kenner, and then this one by Hasbro. Like that, which I think is you forget that like Hasbro and Kenner, and you know the, the original Kenner, had a, a lot to do with what we know as the the world building of Star Wars. Like, for example, we didn't know the name of. You know, we didn't know who Hammerhead was. We didn't, you know, we didn't, we just called him Hammerhead. We, he has Mo, Moda Mahan, I forget, I forget how to say it. Uh, Mohan Nadan or something like that. To us, it was Hammerhead. Walrus Man, Greedo, all right? Well, Greedo was the same. Greedo had his right name. But Walrus Man, Snaggletooth, Hammerhead, we don't, they, they have actual names, but we don't go by those names a lot. Us older guys go by, by, uh, you know, what Kenner told us to go by, so... Here's our Death Trooper. Again, I have the Death Trooper on a Rogue One car, but I don't have the Death Trooper on this. So, Racing Stripe, Rogue One, awesome. So, there you have it. These are the four that are gonna be added to the Vintage line, Vintage Collection. So excited about that. I am actually, people say, you know, doesn't you know, collecting is not like it used to be, and, and, and you're right, I agree. But you know what? I've aged a little bit with my collecting, and I am not necessarily upset that our vintage collection line of figures is smaller. I think that's good. I think the Black Series might benefit from a little pullback. You know, kids aren't playing with these toys as much as they used to, young, young, you know, young children. So I'm okay with exclusives and stuff like that, as long as we can... If we have the information needed, that we're pretty much guaranteed um, being able to purchase it. They should make enough for that, okay? But um, 
I've been mostly lucky, but here's some that got away from me. But thanks to eBay, yes, I had to pay more. Yes, I probably lined the pockets of some scalpers. But what can you do? You know, I want to have the figures. And if I can't get them on the first hand market, I got to go second hand. And eBay is the best place to do that. So that'll do it for today's episode of Darth Tuba Star Wars Unboxing Show. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification button, all that other jazz. Uh, check me out on all my other, you know, Instagram, Twitter, at Darth Tuba, Darth Tuba Star Wars Unboxing page on Facebook. And if you'd like to support the show and maybe look for a really cool item like this kind of sketch, if you look closely, it is not a, it is not a photo. It's actually a sketch of this uh, Dengar figure. Okay, and um, I have a bunch of things on there. I will tell you, these come in and out. Okay, you know, they don't get, they don't stay on forever. They go on for a couple of weeks, maybe a day, two days, a week, two weeks, and then they go off. So if you want to get this on anything, a shirt, button, sticker, whatever, I might make them available later on stickers and buttons. But I mean, if you want them on something else, like a phone case or things like that, go to my T Public store. Link is in the page, uh, the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, may the force and the toys be with you. <laughs>